<laughs> Hi everybody! We are here. Happy Saturday. February 20th. That's it is. It. 2021. So I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. Our hey. top story today is the top 10 reasons to live in Ventura County. We have the top 10. This is a list we compiled ourselves. So being Ventura County residents for a long time, these are what we came up with. Yes. So we will start with the, one of the reasons we live here. What's the number one reason we moved here? The weather. The weather. And that's the reason we picked this topic today since most of the country is under ice and snow and burst pipes and just freezing cold. It is another balmy 68 degrees here at the beach. Went down to the farmer's market this morning and it's absolutely beautiful driving back along the ocean. And I thought, we are so blessed to get to live here. <laughs> and so number one reason, the weather. Yeah, it is a little windy today. I don't know if you've been watching the golf tournament down at the Riviera Country Club, but uh, they had to delay play for four hours because it was so windy. That doesn't happen very often, but it wasn't because it was cold or snowy. Just a little windy today was blowing the golf ball off the green. So. <laughs> but temperature-wise, it's good. A uh, little wind, uh, probably even too windy to fly a kite today. Yeah, but beautiful out. Blue skies and sunny and nice. So that's our number one reason. And... I don't know if we need to do nine more, but we will. So, well, it, number two? Yes, well, let me just finish up real quick on number one. Okay. A few years ago, the government did a survey of all the counties in America, and it was based on a lot of different criteria, and Ventura County was the number one place to live in America based on its weather. So mm -hmm. that, and then about, oh, 15 years ago or so, Time Magazine said the second best weather in the world was Ventura County. And the first best weather in the world was the south of France. So I immediately got out my iPhone and put the south of France on my weather app. We kick the south of France's butt on weather all the time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to get that in there before we go to number two. So number two goes somewhat along with that is we're on the beach. It is coastal here in Ventura. Um, Ventura County runs along the beach all the way from uh, Ventura down to Malibu on the coastal side. And along that coastline, we do have uh, military bases too here in Ventura County. We do. A lot. Of, we, we have two military bases. Yeah. Uh, very close to the coast. One of them actually on the co coast, uh, Point Magoo. Mm -hmm. And then we have one that's in Port Wainimi. Yeah. That is, well, it's right there. I mean. It's also on the ocean front. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there too. So yeah, so the beach brings surfing and all the water sports. We have an awesome 15 mile path that goes all the way from the beach up to Ojai. Um, that's really a fun thing to walk or to ride your bike. Um, and then of course we have the pier that was the longest wooden pier. Um, it was privately owned until the forties and then Ventura owned it and then the the uh, country the national one of park service i guess oh, uh owned it and then now ventura owns it again the, the pier so always fundraising for the pier um the pier does not stay standing up by itself so it is currently 1600 feet long um it used to be lo longer it used to be a commercial fishing pier um but it's it's still there and still uh needs your support Yes, it does. It's the pier actually stands up with the volunteers holding hands and actually holding it up. Yep. <laughs> so let me know if you want information about uh, donating to the pier because we're involved with that too because it's one of our um, really awesome landmarks. As a matter of fact, it's number 20 of landmarks in Ventura. Yeah, it's the eighth longest pier in the state of California. Mm -hmm. So we're not number one on that one, but uh, anyway, to be in the top 10, it's a beautiful pier. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so number three. Number three is mountains. That we have the beach and the mountains. So it's so picturesque and nice, great hiking, camping, um, all kinds of things to do here from mountains to the beach. It is mountains. I mean, there's no snow skiing in the mountains, even though the mountains are about 9,000 feet. 
So they do get snow on the top, but uh, to get up to the 9,000 foot mark, uh, you have to be part mountain goat, I would think, to get up on the very top. <laughs> we, uh, at the beginning of lockdown, we were introduced some, to some new hiking trails up in Ojai that were just beautiful, that we had never been on in all the years we've been here. So it has been fun. I think a lot of the outdoor recreation that has happened during COVID, especially around here, um, we have access to all of it, from paddle boarding in the harbors to hiking in the mountains. Yes, and we do have the rental bike places, the electric rental bike places are very prevalent yeah, now. Don't forget that part, oh, yes. the electric part. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, the electric bikes. So if you're riding up in the mountains and you're on an electric bike and you get tired of pedaling, you just push the button and it goes. So they are very, very convenient yeah, for long rides. It is so fun. Yeah, we've done it. We've rented run, run, run them down in Ventura and ridden all the way up to Carpinteria on the electric bikes. There's a bike path. Most of the way, you only get on the freeway for a little bit. That's right, yes. <laughs> And keep going all the way to Carp. Yes, it is. So that's the mountains. Number four um, is living in an agricultural area. I mean, it's so cool that we grow so much. Um, the number one crop, do you know what the number one crop is? Uh, avocados. Avocados, citrus, and strawberries. Strawberries is our number one crop here. Um, we have farmers mar markets on the on the two lane roads around here. It is so awesome and fresh. Another thing that we grow a lot of is celery, and the number one place that we export most of our celery from Ventura County is Canada. Canadians love celery, and I learned that on my um, field trip tour with my son at Luminaria, which is one of our big packing houses here in Ventura County. That Canadians love celery. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? I know, yeah. we grow it here. <laughs> There's celery everywhere. The state of California grows over 200 different varieties of crops. So I would think, Ventura, we grow not 200, but we grow a lot of crops. There's yeah. farmland everywhere. Even if you're going to the beach, you're driving through farmlands. No matter where you're at in the county, there is a tractor and a farmer working the land. I know, it was awesome. I was, here's a typical day of driving over to the beach in Oxnard to an inspection on a property we have in escrow and I pass a cyclist going by, by me and then the tractor is holding up the traffic on the two lane road because the tractor is coming along along the, the ocean on my way to a property. It was just, I took a picture because I'm like this is just such a typical Ventura County day. It is, it is. Tractors everywhere, agriculture everywhere. It's always enjoyable to watch them grow food. Yep. So number five of our top ten reasons to live in Ventura County is the harbors. We have two harbors here, Channel Islands Harbor and Ventura Harbor. So they both have um, dining uh, opportunities and all the water sports, of course boating. People live on their boats in both of the harbors and it's really beautiful to just go look at them or to dine or to, you know, hang out. Yeah, they have boat rentals in both harbors. Uh, one of the favorite boat rentals is the little Duffy electric boat boat rentals. It'll anywhere from four to twelve people can get on the electric boat and drive around the harbor. And the harbors, especially in Oxnard, are just huge. You can drive around there for a couple of hours and never go down the same channel. Right. It is so much fun. And I just saw at Ventura Harbor they have duck pedal boats now so I cannot wait to try those I love pedal boats uh, so we have new like swan duck pedal boats in Ventura Harbor so I'll be looking forward to getting a few pedals in looking forward to that in your duck <laughs> in my duck <laughs> <laughs> today not the bay the wind that's probably still pretty smooth in the harbor but uh, you wouldn't want to be pedaling against, against the, the wind, wind. <laughs> Well, then you can earn your dinner in the harbor if you're pedaling against the wind. <laughs> okay, so what number are you on now? Number, number six. six. We have a great location here, Ventura. The city of Ventura is the county seat for Ventura County, and it is 60 miles north of LAX. If you are on the LA Ventura County border, you're about 30 miles north of LAX, which, of course, Los Angeles Airport, I'm talking about, an international airport. Uh, so it's a great location between Santa Barbara and Malibu and we are a little secret town here. That's right, and during the pandemic, that 60 miles seems like it's much shorter because of less traffic going to the airport. I mean, you could literally drive to LAX in an hour, no problem, and it's freeway all the way. If you wanted to get there faster, you could. 
<laughs> yeah, it's been great. That's one good thing for us around here is that there hasn't been as much traffic traveling through here to get north of here. That's right. I, son, I, I, 17 year old son, he can get us there in 45 minutes, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven on great reasons to live in Ventura County, and I just picked one of the, the cute little towns. Is there so like Ventura has such a cute downtown, Camarillo has such a cute little downtown, so does Oxnard, so does Ojai, um, so does Thousand Oaks, uh, Westlake Village. We have so many cute little towns. Ojai, of course, has a cute little downtown. So all the little towns in Ventura County have a really cute little original um, downtown park. They do. Uh, Santa Paula. Yep, Santa Bend, Paula. Simi Valley. Yep. Nice downtowns on all of them. And th that's probably a future show is to do the all the towns around. Yeah, we'd love to because, of course, we're always looking for the best restaurant and, of course, the best cookie around, and I'm always on the hunt. So we could do shows about that because I have sniffed them all out. <laughs> and you do do cooking shows. You yes. do do? Uh-huh. Do do. Yep. Do -do. <laughs> okay, number seven. Oh, that's what you just did. Number eight, we have so many wineries and breweries here. So many brew pubs have popped up here in Ventura County um, all over the place. And it's been really cool to see it happen. A few years ago, I was in Tucson at a brew event, which I didn't know was going to be a brew event, but it was like a brewery pub, you know, local brewery play, uh, event. And they were all talking about Ventura and how cool Ventura was with all the brew pubs and all the, br the brewing going on here. Uh, so it was really neat to, you know, say, hey, well, I'm from there. I live there. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like, you know, pre-pandemic, the fastest growing businesses in Ventura were the brew pubs. Uh -huh. I mean, they literally, every corner, yeah. we've got brand new where they're making their own beer, selling their own beer, and coupling it up with some great food. Yeah, awesome. So number nine is one of my favorites is the fair. Ventura County has fairgrounds right on the ocean. And every year, of course, except last year, we have the Ventura County Fair. And I love the fair. I love everything about, uh, about it. I am a fair lover. So one of the things I loved when we moved here was that we had our own fair every year. And my son and I, since he was a little boy, we have gone to the fair on the first day every year since he was born. So that's a fun thing that we have here too, is the fair, is in the summer every year. It's a major draw event right on the ocean. If you're in the fair, Ferris wheel or any rides at all, basically, it's just beautiful looking out mm -hmm. over the ocean. And then you can see the pier from the fairgrounds. And the amazing part about it is it's in August and the weather is just absolutely perfect because you're on the ocean. It's usually around 72, 73 degrees and everybody loves it. The vendors that come love it because it's, you know, August and it's cool in Ventura and the crowds and just it's a spectacular event yeah. if, you, if you like fairs. Yeah, and Julia here says the fair food. Well, yes, we love all the fair food. As a matter of fact, we did a cooking show about fair food on 4th of July this year, and uh, we made funnel cakes at home. So you can go back and watch that show, our show on July 4th on funnel cakes. <laughs> July 4th. That was the fireworks that day, right? That, that was the fireworks. Yes. Okay, number 10. Let me, let, me get it, let me get one in here. Okay. What's number 10? Friendly people. The friendly people, <laughs> like us. We're so friendly. Uh, it's an amazing. Every spot is different in California. Every city's different. Every everything's different. And some of the nicest people in the whole state live in Ventura County, California. It's just an amazing place that attracts amazing people. Yeah, it still has that small town feel and. Um, we've been here for a long time, but just love it here at our little paradise at the beach. Yes, it is. I think Ventura is about 100,000 people, and it's separated from Oxnard, which is the largest city in Ventura County, of about 250,000 people. And the only thing that separates us is the Santa Clara River. So on this side of the river, you're in Ventura. On this side of the river, you're in Oxnard. So you put them together, you're looking at a town of about 350,000 people, even though Ventura is quite a bit smaller than Oxnard. Most people, when they first get here, can't tell the difference. It's just which side of the river you're on. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's our top 10 list for today, the top 10 reasons to live in Ventura County. So if you are can see why the demand for property here has been crazy, 
and inventory is very low. So if you're thinking about selling your home, um, give us a call because there's a lot of buyers that want to live here for all the reasons we just said. <laughs> there is, absolutely. And we're more than happy, more than qualified. We're in the starting blocks and ready to go. Hey, Laura, how are you? Looks like you had a fun week, uh, weekend. Are you still down at the golf? Looked amazing. Looks like they just started to play golf again this afternoon once the wind died down. And Kelsey, how are you? Always a pleasure to see you guys. We love it when you guys watch us live. It's always awesome. Absolutely. So, GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. It's a wrap. <laughs>